welcome back to my channel, long time no see, and I am so happy to be back for a new video, and today I'm going to share with you my 2021 semi-annual favorites. So of course, I have some beauty favorites to share with you guys, but in addition to that, I also have some fashion favorites, so let's get started. I'm going to start off with my favorite fashion brand of this year so far, and that has to be Cezanne. Cezanne is a French clothing brand that makes high-quality clothing inspired by French fashion, and I have just enjoyed everything I picked up from Cezanne. Um, this year, I have also done a lot of soul searching, I guess, like I've tried to understand what I personally really like in terms of fashion style, in terms of career and everything else. I have discovered that my type of fashion style is really classic but a little bit vintage. That's kind of my vibe and Cezanne completely kills that. For example, I recently received this dress as a birthday gift. This is the Timia dress, which you can actually find in their summer archive right now. I love the design of this dress. I love the cutout in the back and the flared sleeves. The cinch waist also makes the dress look super figure flattering. And of course, as you guys know, I have been absolutely loving this white knit that I wore um, in my last video, this kind of scoop neck light knit. I love it so, so much that I got the same design in the black color except short sleeve so I can wear this with some high-waisted jeans. My second fashion favorite is my favorite jewelry brand which is Ana Luisa. You guys are no stranger to Ana Luisa. I have collaborated with them many many times and I genuinely just love everything I have gotten from them. I wear their jewelry on a daily basis for work or for casual occasions and today I am wearing this beautiful necklace. This is the Mish necklace created by a youtuber Michelle Choi. I showed this necklace to you guys last time and I told you that I really really wanted the matching earring so I got it here. This is the Dolby earring. It's so dainty and cute, such a classic design and personally I just love how these pieces kind of tie together the whole look and they're just so cute. I've been wearing these non-stop ever since I have gotten them. I think their prices are actually very reasonable for the quality that you're getting. So if you are interested in these pieces, they are actually doing a summer sale right now for 20% off everything. So this is a great time for you to pick up some items for yourself or for your friends and family. And for me personally, I have been eyeing the Elijah bracelet for a while. I think it will really go with this mesh necklace and like this kind of um, slightly bolder and wider chain design. So that's probably something I will pick up for myself. Okay, so moving on to the beauty favorites, I have a couple skincare items and a lot of makeup. So starting with a sheet mask, I haven't introduced new sheet masks to you guys in a while. Um, and this is my favorite one that I have tried so far this year. And this is the Sika mask. It's a Korean sheet mask brand. And I just personally really like the calming quality of uh, these masks. Um, I traveled to New Orleans uh, a couple weeks ago for my friend's wedding and then I went to Pittsburgh a couple weeks ago so I've been doing a lot of traveling recently and my skin tends to get really unstable when I travel and also it gets really dry because of the cabin there but I brought these masks with me and I just use them throughout my travel and I have got zero trouble with my skin. My skin has stayed very balanced, I have no pimples and it stays very hydrated so I think this is a really good sort of calming and hydrating mask and especially in the summertime if you have problematic skin, I really highly recommend this one. And my favorite anti-aging cream that I have discovered so far has to be the Lancome Absolute Rich Cream. I think this is actually a very popular product over in Asia, but I've never tried it because it is super, super expensive. But a couple months ago, I think the website was doing a buy one, get one free sale, which is like 50% off. So I finally made the decision to give it a try and I have zero regrets. I mean, there is a reason why this cream is so luxury and pricey because the effect is amazing. I personally have extremely dry skin, as you guys know. My skin is super dry even during the summertime, but with this cream, I just need a small pea size every time, and I just massage that in my palm and then just press it into the skin, and my skin just looks so glowy and fine and lifted the next day. This has like true anti-aging benefits. Um, I mean, they do have a patented ingredient. I think it's called Proxylane in there. Um, and that helps, you know, with the elasticity and, uh, you know, the firmness of your skin. 
Um, but personally, for me, I feel like it's just really, really hydrating, and it definitely makes my skin look super, super smooth on the surface, and it gives me that lifting effect when I do massage with it. It's a really nice rosy scent. It does have fragrance in there, but that doesn't bother me at all. It just smells super, super nice. And uh, for all of you who have more like normal combination skin, they have a soft cream version, which is lighter than the rich cream, so that one will probably be more suitable for you. And I actually love that this is a refillable design, so you can actually pop out the middle section and just refill what's inside. So I think that's quite nice, and the refills are much cheaper than the actual cream with the, the whole packaging. As you guys know, I have tried so, so, so many face creams over these years, um, but this one honestly has to be top of the list. And next up, I have my favorite circle lenses. I have tried this here. It's what I am wearing today. It's super, natural i think um and very comfortable and this is the ever color one day um i only wear one day lenses because i do wear my lenses for quite a long time um, so i like to go for the ones that have high water content and one day and this one has 42.5 percent water content they are super natural looking you can see that the ring is like this faded brown color it actually makes your eyes look softer which i really really like and the shade i picked out is classic cheek and moving on to makeup products for my base makeup, this probably does not come at a surprise at all. Um, I have been using the Suku Cream Foundation. Um, I think I didn't like this as much before because I was using this during the winter time and I feel like it wasn't hydrating enough for my skin because in comparison, the third generation is the most hydrating followed by the second generation, followed by the first generation. So um, personally, I like to use the new one in the winter time, but this is actually perfect for me during the summer. It's super, super long lasting and the shade 102 matches me exactly. It's what I'm wearing today. I wore this to my friend's rehearsal dinner and I had to fly from Boston to New Orleans, which is a three and a half hour flight. I had my makeup on since like 11 in the morning and I wore it all the way to the end of the night and it lasted completely fine without any touch-ups. So the lasting power really is insane. It's medium coverage and has a very natural finish. So I absolutely love this foundation. I've been using this every single day. For eye makeup, this has to be my brand of the year and that is Pat McGrath. I have been in love with the Pat McGrath eyeshadows. Of course, I love the Mothership palettes, which are the bigger palettes. And those are, I think, really nice for all of you who like to play around with colors. But my most used Pat eyeshadows are actually these two quads. First one is this one, which I'm wearing today. This is the limited edition quad from their Christmas collection. It's actually still available on their website right now. And this is the interstellar quad. I love this quad. It's what I have on my eyes today. I just use this dark purple color on my outer corner, this taupe color all over the lid. And then I actually layered uh, this champagne color on top of the taupe to create like a lighter taupe color, and then I also use the same color on my lower lash line. So for every day, I tend to use just these three shades for a more um, neutral makeup. Um, but for the nighttime, I will add in this blue color, which is actually so, so pretty. It's just like the nice guy. It's so beautiful and the shine is absolutely amazing. So I wore this whenever I wear like a blue dress or something and it's just perfect. This is one of my favorite quads. I can't believe I'm using this so much. Um, it's, it's amazing. The other eyeshadow quad, I used this for my friend's wedding and I just fell in love with this quad. And this is, I think also came out in one of the previous Christmas collections, the Blitz Astral Quad in the shade Ritualistic Rose. And this is their four special shades, which is what Pat McGrath is famous for. And I just really, really, really love this light pink glittery color. I don't know if you can see how shiny and beautiful it is on camera, but this is like one of my favorite glittery shades. It has a gold shift to it, which makes it nice and neutral for every day. And this quad overall, as you can see, is actually very neutral and very wearable for every day. So if you're someone who like that fresh, pink look for every day, I definitely recommend this quad. And of course, this is my wedding quad because that's just how I felt. I actually used these sh three shades over here for her gold themed makeup. If you put down this gold color and then layer the pink over it, it actually leans more gold. So overall, the, the tone could change. It depends on what shade you put underneath the glitter shadow. All right, next for my cheek products, I have been loving cream blushes because as you know, I have really dry skin. So I think cream blushes are actually a trend right now. A lot of brands are coming out with them and my favorite one so far is this one from perfect diary it's this cream blush dual it has a really pretty like magenta color and this light nudie pink color which is what i use every day and i love the texture of this blush because it's like 
almost like a mousse texture. It's actually quite dry to the touch and very blendable. So you can just dab, 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 and then blend it into your skin really, really easily. And the other color is very berry, and this one is a bit brighter. So compared to the rosy uh, crush, it's a lot brighter and like more um, out there. So I don't use this one as much, but you can use that as a lipstick as well. So that's really pretty. I love the texture. I love the staying power. I love how compact it is. I can take it everywhere with me. Um, it's something I've been using a lot recently. For lips, um, this also comes at absolutely no surprise because I've only been using Romance, honestly, ever since like last winter. I've pretty much only been using Romant, and I have two shades that I've been wearing a lot recently. One is this one that I'm wearing right now, the see-through matte tint, which came out with their Henbok collection um, a couple months ago, and this is in the shade number 10. It's more like a cool tone pinkish rose color, which goes really, really well with the pad quad in Interstellar, which is more of like a purple taupe cool tone quad. So I've been wearing this look honestly a lot and I really like how lightweight it is on the lips. It doesn't feel drying at all. It's super long lasting and the shade blends into your lips without accentuating your lip lines. So this is amazing. I actually like this formula slightly better than this one. This is their classic zero velvet tint. Um, I still really like this one. The lasting power of this is actually even better. However, it is slightly more drying than the see-through matte one. So if you want to you know, use it on a daily basis, I would definitely recommend this one a little bit more. The zero velvet tint is definitely like an event type of color. Um, it is bright, um, cool tone red that reminds me of Max Ruby Woo, except the texture of this one is better than that. Super long lasting, not as dry. I use this a lot when I just want a pop of color in contrast with a more simple eye makeup. So that concludes my 2021 semi annual favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found some products that you would be interested in trying out. And I would love to know what's your favorite fashion or beauty products that you have tried out this year. So please comment in the comment box down below and share it with me. And before we end this video, please don't forget to check out Ana Luisa's summer sale for 20% off the entire site. And I hope all of you have a wonderful summer. Thank you so much for tuning in for today's video and I will see you all in my next one. Bye.